Welcome to another episode of Salt Air. My name is Tom Hatch, the creator of Salt and the CTO of Salt Stack. With me, I have Galicia Ward. He's our director of QA, and he's going to walk us through installing Salt Stack Enterprise, the new 5.5 release, and so that we can see how simple and straightforward it is. Glazier, what can you tell us about this new install? Yeah, this install is made to be dead simple. Uh, you can run everything all on one system. Everything you need is uh, included in the package. So and this install is also made to be air gap. So if your uh, network uh, does not have access to the internet, everything is uh, included in the package here. Fantastic. Let's let's take a look at how it's done. All right. So for uh, enterprise customers, you'll go download the the uh, the tarball, the compressed uh, installer package. Once you get it down on your system, extract it, and after you extract it, you'll uh, there'll be an SSC uh, underscore installer folder. Okay. And in that installer folder, there will be a script called a setup single node sh. All you have to do is run that script. Now what that script will do is, it will, again, it will install everything. If Salt's not on your system, that's fine. It will install a Salt Master and a Salt Minion for you. If you already have a Salt Master and Minion, it will skip that point and just go right to the Enterprise install. Okay, fantastic. Um, now the pieces of the Enterprise install, what get, um, you'll get uh, Redis 4 installed, you'll get Postgres 9.6, You'll get obviously the Salt Stack Enterprise pieces, and you'll get a uh, Salt Master plugin, which is the piece you put on the Salt Master, which enables it to talk to the uh, to the Salt Stack Enterprise. So those are all that is included, and that's all part of the Enterprise installer. And so all of these things are being installed as RPMs, right? So they're still trackable on your system. That's right. We're not doing anything dirty. That's right. Okay. <laughs> So again, this once you run that that simple uh, shell script, it just takes literally just minutes to get everything because everything's local. Everything gets thrown down on the system, and you're ready to go. Um, once you uh, the system is uh, once everything's installed, um, what we can what you can do is just bring up a browser and uh, go to your uh, to your DNS or IP of your system that you ran the uh, install on. Wow, that's incredibly straightforward. So I see that we're still running through the installer here, but uh, yep, there we go. Uh, we're able to pull up a browser now and give it a second to load the first time. Yep, and there's our there's our login screen. And we've got how many, let's see, one minion. Yep. They're all connected, 100%. <laughs> One minion, the system's ready to go. You can add additional salt masters with their minions and uh, manage your, uh, your, salt, uh, your salt environment. That's so fantastic. It's quick and easy. All right. So if I've got this one salt master, this one uh, enterprise server up, how many, uh, how many salt masters and minions do you think it would be wise to connect to this system? You know, depending on your hardware specs, we're thinking around maybe a thousand minions. Okay. Um, masters, as far as masters go, that would depend on how many masters aren't necessarily. They're not. They're not as heavy as the minions. That's right. So the minions. So we're thinking, depending on your hardware specs, up to a thousand. Once you uh, uh, exceed that threshold, uh, we have an optional um, distributed install that we suggest you use. Yeah. Now, I mean, we've tested a single instance of enterprise well beyond a thousand but we like to give conservative numbers <laughs> what we're what we're looking at here also is the fact that this install is a single node install like you already said glacier and salt stack enterprise can be installed in a distributed fashion so the enterprise server can be placed behind a load balancer because all the connections to it are over http and subsequently, the components, the Postgres and the Redis server, can be moved to other servers. And so, in the future, it would be really nice to have you back on so that we can go over what a distributed install looks like. As, admittedly, it's a little more complicated than running one magic script and everything being laid out precisely. That is correct. All right, is there anything that uh, anything else you wanted to cover in here, Glazier? 
Uh, nothing more. I believe we covered it. It's that's, nice and simple. That's excellent. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of Salt Air, and we've got more coming up. We really want to make sure that everything that we're producing and that we're delivering is easy to use, scalable, and is able to solve real problems. And we're going to have more demos and more exposure into what that enterprise product looks like, as well as continuing to talk about open source salt and some of the fantastic things that you can do with it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.